Ne oli tää ongelmia näillä druideilla. I must discover the source. Traveler, I advise caution. A corruption has gripped Stone Lore Grove, turning the wildlife aggressive and spreading an impurity unlike anything our circle has ever seen. Nature itself has fallen out of bounds. Yeah. Selvä, minkälainen korruptio täällä on. Pistää se hoitumaan. The druid sent me to investigate, but it was all I could do to avoid the once docile creatures of the grove. I found a few pockets of corruption that must be cleansed, but I need another druid to assist me. Eikö tuli kelpaa? Really, I just need another set of hands. Here, let me mark your map. I'll cast the cleansing spell, then you burn out the impurity. No need. Bolt it out. That will temporarily restore the balance while we search for the source. The circle will compensate you, of course. Let's find a few concentrated areas of corruption. My spells will cleanse the impurities, then you burn them. Hopefully, we can determine the source of the corruption before this malady spreads to the rest of the island. Just keep your. It wasn't always. It used to be one of the safest locations on the island. In fact, my ancestors deemed the grove sacred when they first arrived. Now the corrupted wildlife attacks for no reason, and some of my fellow druids have been afflicted. Not much, unfortunately. I noticed its effects a short time ago. Usually, docile creatures turning aggressive, a strange blight spreading through the plants and trees. I brought my concerns to the arch druid, who initially thought I was overreacting. Eli tämä muistuttaa Pedestan kuvaa työntekijää ja tota arkitruidi on vähän niin kuin se product owneri. I'm not sure anyone has ever convinced Arch Druid Agathy of anything. <laughs> But she couldn't deny that something strange was happening in the grove. She ordered me to look into it and bring my findings back to the Circle Elders. Nothing. I haven't gone back yet. Until I determine if the corruption can be cleansed and find the source, I don't actually have anything new to report. Well, except that now the corruption has spread to some of my fellow druids. Hot. Just that, they have become as hostile as the rest of the afflicted wildlife. We may have to deal with any corrupted druids we meet. But with your help and the blessing of the true way, We'll soon have a solution to present to the Circle Elders. I suppose you would call it our doctrine, our religion. The true way represents a life guided by natural principles, value and willfulness of nature. All of nature comes from Ifra, and the Druids are the arbiters of Ifra's will. The old way calls to me some older. Have you never heard of Ifra where you come from? The storyteller, the god of song and forest. The spirit of the now? Ifra formed the frame upon which nature was woven. He gave rise to the rules of life on Nern. His way is the true way. I am a druid of the Stone Lore Circle. I am a teacher, a healer, a counselor, as well as a steward of the natural world. I hear the voice of Ifra and his earth bones, and I do my best to be his advocate. Natural principles guide my every action. Oh, that was early in the first era. After struggling against the Dureni hegemony, our ancestors came to this archipelago because of its connection to Ifra. When they arrived, our druidic circle deemed Stone Lore Grove to be a sacred site. Not to be confused with our ritual circles. I mean the druids of the archipelago all belong to one of three distinct subgroups. You would probably call it a sect. Those who hold to the same circle share common beliefs and approaches to Ifra's will. The druids of this grove belong to the Stone Lore Circle. We are not the only ones who believe that all cultures have a place here. Some of the High Isle folk refer to us as the friendly druids. We rarely evangelize, letting our work speak for itself. You'll probably encounter the Elder Tide Circle in your wanderings. Be careful. They are overtly hostile to the civilized residents of High Isle. As for the Fire Song Circle, even I don't know much about them. They never leave the island of Ithalon. Kaspalava pensas täällä. Corruption spreads throughout the grove. 
first the plants, then the animals, and now even some druids have been afflicted. Niin on tällaisen korruptoitunut peura. How disconcerting. The Evergrowth hasn't spoken in generations. Pardon that display. I've never been forcibly taken over by a spirit of nature before. I wasn't sure if the corruption was connected to the Evergrowth, but now we know. And we know a druid is somehow involved. That troubles me. As I understand it, this grove was deemed sacred by the early druids, but it was also out of balance. They shaped Ifra's laws into a spirit and gave that spirit dominion over the grove. Hmm. It recognized that I was trying to help it and reached out. Yes, but is that druid acting out of malice or ignorance? Either way, if the Evergrowth succumbs, then the corruption will increase and spread out of control. We must take this news to the Circle Elders. Meet me in our village. Our village lies at the center of the grove. Once we get there, I will tell the Archdruid and the other Elders what we learned. Not much to tell. Archdruid Agathy oversees our community here. A number of the village Elders serve as her advisors and help train the younger aspirants and initiates in the true way. I'll introduce you to them once we get to the village. She's right. Archdruid, elders, this outsider helped me. And the Evergrowth, it spoke through me. The spirit of the grove? It hasn't manifested like that in many generations. Are you sure? Druid Audrine has never given us reason to I doubt her observations. Know. Tell us, child, what did the spirit say? It warned us that nature was out of balance. That a druid was responsible for this trouble. Out of balance? That explains the corruption. But to blame a druid? I cannot accept that without proof. Then we will find that proof. Friend, meet me at the Circle's ritual site. Meet me at the ritual circle on top of the rise that overlooks the village. We can talk there. Young Audrine makes a bold proclamation. While I believe the spirit of this grove spoke through her, I find it hard to imagine that one of our druids could be responsible for unbalancing nature. That goes against everything we believe. Mostly what you would expect. I oversee the druids that care for this grove and help train the novices in the true way. Elders Karak and Warain advise me on matters related to my work. I have the utmost faith in young Audrine. What I do not trust is the word of a capricious nature spirit. Go with Audrine. Get us proof that a druid is responsible for the corruption. Then we will take every action necessary to solve the problem. Hmm. Tuolla noin. Over here, my friends. The Circle Elders cannot accept that one of our own may be responsible for this disaster. 
and I could hear the doubt in their voices concerning the Evergrowth. We need to prove that one of our circle has caused this unbalance. Help me investigate. Search the village for any signs that a druid is involved in the corruption. Look in the huts. Ask my fellow druids. Someone or something here will lead us to the source of the corruption. It has to. We'll wait and see if it communicates with us again. If not, I have an idea. But let us try to find the druid responsible for this situation first. I want to determine if this was an accident or a deliberate and reckless act. Niin, siinä on tietysti niinku iso ero. Vähän kasiitti. The spirits of nature are upset. Something is wrong in the grove. Can you not feel it? Nyt on tekstuurit mennyt vähän. Onko se vaan noin tumman osalla noin toi noin toi? Good gathering, stranger. I do not recognize you, but I know Druid Audrine very well. What may I do for you this day? Nothing specific, I'm afraid. Just that the corrupted animals have made foraging in the grove dangerous. Oh, this might interest you. I felt a disturbance emanate from the wards in the undergrove recently, like a surge of power went through them. The island's volcanic vents create all sorts of underground spaces. The large cavern beneath us is the undergrove. No one's allowed down there, not without the Archdruid's permission. The wards have something to do with the spirit of the grove. Yes, the Evergrove. I'm surprised you know that ancient designation. I believe the wards reinforce the spirit's connection to the grove, but I'm not an expert on that. I can sense them, though. I have an affinity for such things. The undergrove? No one but the archdruid ever goes down there. Hmm. Archdruid. Sahelan. So that's. Jos uuin lataamalla uudestaan, niin selviäis, selviäiskö, että toi on Puki. Ei kyllä se näin siltikin on tosi tumma toi. Jostain syystä niillä on vaan tommonen niinku öljyssä, öljyssä keitetty nahkahaanesko. Mutta no joo, us, uskon. <laughs> se on yksi tapa tehdä se. Tää tosi tummalta. Ah, I see that Druid Audrine has brought us a visitor. What can I do for you today, traveler? As a matter of fact, I noticed animals in the grove suffering from an affliction. I mentioned it to Archdruid Agathy, and she said she would look into it. Okay. Miksei se oo tehny asialle mitään? Hmm. When I spoke to the Archdruid, it seemed like that was the first she heard of the corruption in the grove. Uh -huh. Jos poliisi onkin rikollinen. Jos on tarpeeksi älykäs, se on varmaan jonkun lavastanut rikosta varten. I've hunted from the wilds of Blackwood to the mountains of Skyrim, but since moving to High Isle... Stone Lore Grove has become my favorite spot. It's just so serene and peaceful. I suppose. Ehkä. Mut nyt ruidit on ilmeisesti vastuussa myös siitä, että rauhaa rikkoutunut. What? That's proof that a druid caused this problem. Look, there's a mistake in the second line. 
They wrote remove instead of restore. Niin joku on sählännyt ja meidän poistaa sen hengen, mikä huolehtii tästä paikasta. Argonia ainakin. Naga vielä. Miks toi Naga? Kuka se on Naga? Disturbing basket. That ritual fetish. It reeks of the same corruption spreading through the grove. I wonder who it belongs to. Oh, nice. What did you? I think we have everything we need to convince the archdruid. Let's review what we discovered. Definitely a druidic ritual fetish. I use such accoutrement when conducting my own rituals. But this one bears the taint that afflicts the grove. This fetish must have been used in the ritual that released the corruption. Whoever scrawled this did so in haste. They made an obvious mistake in the middle verse. It should say restore, but the author wrote down remove. That alone would have disastrous effects when the ritual was performed. Someone or something disturbed the wards in the undergrowth, probably when the ritual was performed. And it appears the archdruid knew about the corruption before I mentioned it, but she acted like she knew nothing. I don't know all the details, but from what I've been taught, the Evergrowth resides in the Undergrove. The wards connect it to the Grove, but also bind it. We need to talk to the Archdruid. She's usually in the Northern Grove this time of day. I'll meet you in the Northern part of the Grove. Yeah, huh? <sighs> Kyllä tää vähän pahalta näyttää. Yeah, I don't see. She's spreading the corruption. The all wither. It's inside me. All of it there. Forcing me to do as it bids. Aha. Where did she go? Bauxen. Speak with me, mortal. The spirit of the grove has need of you. We are the Evergrove. The one you saw. She carries the taint of our corruption. We remember her from the undergrowth. She performs the that released this blight upon the land. The archdruid sought to remove our bindings, but the ancient spells have already frayed. The part of us that is the Allwither tricked her. She spoke the wrong word. Now. The All Wither is free to spread its corruption, and the entire grove is in danger. The All Wither is a part of us, a spirit of nature, called forth and made manifest by the ancient druids. At this sacred grove, the laws of nature are malleable. To strengthen those laws, the druid found us here. But nature consists of circles. At one end, life. At the other, death. We are both life-nurturing growth and all withering decay. That part of us is now free. And once the corruption fully takes hold, the evergrowth will be gone. Only the all wither will remain. Will you help us? Tell the druids what we have said. They summoned and bound us in the past. Sure, I will ever get used to that. Return to the village and tell the elders what the Evergrowth said. I'll join you momentarily. Elder Karik, we have troubling news concerning the Archdruid. Pele, Pele, Pupoli. 
Tell us what happened. The Evergrowth confirmed she performed the binding ritual, but she made a mistake. She released the All Wither. The Arch Druid is responsible for the corruption? And she released the All Wither? Oh, the Grove is doomed! The Evergrowth is here in Vermintel. In exchange for certain consideration. The Archdruid has returned to the Undergrowth. Even now, the Allwither compels her to speed up the spread of corruption so that it can consume us. In our weakened state, we cannot stop the Allwither from becoming the prominent spirit of the Grove. We can, but only if you and this Druid break the Domain Wards that bind us to this place. That will allow us to recover enough of our power, to restore the balance, and return the All Wither to its proper location in the circle. The All Wither moves quickly. Already we can feel ourselves weakening, losing cohesion. The remaining threads of our bindings have been corrupted and add to our pain. If you set us free, we can pull energy from the uncorrupted grove and aid you. We are the spirit of the grove. We maintain the balance and keep the true way. We know our duty and our responsibility. Trust us. Together, we can end the corruption and return the grove to its natural state. But decide quickly. We do not have all. Elders, allow us to enter the Undergrove and do as the Evergrowth asks. We can't let the Allwither become the dominant spirit. For all we know, this is exactly what the Allwither wants us to do. But, yes, go. We'll do what we can up here to slow the spread of the corruption. Unbinding the bound nature spirit? If this doesn't work, we could be facing an all-consuming corruption or total breakdown of the laws of nature. If it preserve us. Well, go be a hero. You are <laughs> I'm trusting a capricious nature spirit. Wonderful. Well, talk to Audreen and get moving. Warrain and I will try to buy you some time by cleansing as much of the corruption as we can. Yeah, sit the woman looks. The spirit wants us to enter the undergrove and release its bindings. It claims that will allow it to overcome the all wither. I sensed no duplicity while we were connected. I believe the evergrowth spoke true of its intentions. The entrance I am aware of is in the northern part of the grove. I will meet you there. I have never been in the undergrove, my friend. I have no idea what we might encounter down there, so be on your guard and ready for anything. We find the corrupted wards. I cleanse them and you break them, much as we did in the grove. After we deal with the initial wards, the undergrove's central chamber should open, allowing us to destroy the last binding ward and set the spirit free. Takaisin sitten sankaritöitä tekemään. Mm, good quality there. Magical wards bind the spirit to the grove. We need to find those wards, cleanse them, and destroy them.
cleanse the world, then you destroy them. Oh. Central chamber should now be accessible. Let us go and set the spirit free. Jaha, mitähän sitten sattuu? Mä oon kuitenkin vähän ehkä niinku varpailla nyt tän kanssa, että... Niin se ainakin väittää, että se palauttaa. Ja taas. Evergrowth says the grove is safe now. It will continue to perform its sacred duty. For now, I just hope we don't regret removing the binding wards. Maybe yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Adventurer, may we speak? It's disappointing that the Archdruid tried to renew the wards on her own and allowed the All Wither to take control of her. At least we were able to restore yeah, the Evergrowth and stop the spread of corruption. Now? <laughs> Now life returns to normal here in the Grove. Though without the binding wards, we may need to be more compassionate to the Evergrowth. We want it to stay happy. Oh, and before I forget, this is for you. From the Stone Lore Circle, with thanks. Oh, so of all that You're has always happened, striving Audrey. to learn something new. We would One of like my to favorite make things about riding the Circle with you. Elder hmm. and mediator with the Evergrowth. Druid Audrine, an elder, and mediator to the... Oh, very well. An elder? A and the mediator? I... I don't know what to say. I hope you'll say yes. You proved yourself and demonstrated a singular rapport with the spirit of the Grove. Will you take on these responsibilities? I... Yes, of course. Thank you. 
Can you believe it? An elder? Me? I guess I guess. the mediator between the circle and the spirit of the grove? Oh, this is such an honor. That remains to be seen. She and the other druids who were afflicted with the corruption. We need to see if we can restore them. We'll get our best healers involved. And I'll consult with the Evergrowth. I guess that's my job now, as mediator. I suppose I'll talk to the Evergrowth. Get it to help us renew the grove and finish removing the last of the corruption. And if we can save the corrupted druids and the arch druid, so much the better. I'll do whatever I can to help them. Oh, cool. Okei, tää paikka taitaa olla taputeltu niin sanotusti. Täällä Eteläsaarella on aika kivasti näitä paikkoja, että minkä aina se Pohjoissaari sitten on, että... Kun siihen kuinka paljon löytynyt sitten devausaikaa, että... Mielenkiintoista. I can't believe what I saw with, with my own eyes. A talking skull. It can't be. I was just looking for rings, honest. No one was going to miss them, and the dead can't use them. But then there was this voice in the skull. Puhua, puhua well, it politely asked me not to disturb the graves. <laughs> sounded like a noble, that skull. It promised me treasures and riches if I helped it. I ran instead. You want to treat with it, be my guest. I left it where I found it. Outside that ruin. The Death's Valor Keep. Or maybe it was the Death Valor's Keep. It doesn't matter. I won't go near it or another grave again. Mä muuten huomasin, että aika monella naispuolisella hahmolla tässä pelissä on niin arpi toisella puolella kasvoja, siis silleen niin kuin hyvin monella. Mä otan tosta ton Base Rainin muuten. Tässä, tässä välissä ne kuunohda. Ei niin, tonne pitäis mennä. Puhuva pääkallo. No okei, okay, niitä on aikaisemminkin ollut kyllä. Puhuva nukke oli ehkä hauskin. You appear as if you expected to find me. I wonder, do you know where you stand? That was the home of the long gone knights of death's valor. Lord Leobert turned on his oath and cursed us with undeath. He performed tainted magic, cleaved our bodies from mortality, but he didn't complete the ritual. His magic confined our bodies to the bounds of the keep. I couldn't allow Leobert to fix the spell, so I hid his ritual tools inside four sacred altars. Leobert caught me and threw my body from the ramparts. Once I crossed over the wall, the magic binding my body together dissipated. Help me. Kneel at the altars. Ensure Leobert will never leave. Do this, and the treasures of the graveyard are yours. With your knees and my knowledge, the altars will relinquish the items we seek. 
Find them in the chapel, the living quarters, the statuary, and the catacombs. Put me in your pack. Together, we'll ensure Lord Leobert's plan is never realized. Once, the building was the stronghold of the Knights of Death's Valor. The stories I could tell you about our lives. But Lord Leobert betrayed us forged himself into a corruption of our very beliefs. Our keep stood as a bastion against the dark and beacon for the ill-fated for centuries. I remember the pride I felt being among the knights, the sense of purpose, all now lost. The name reminded the knights to fight justly and well. We knew that death wasn't a thing to be beaten back or feared. Still, my demise wasn't honorable, and in death, I lie far from the brethren my negligence cursed. I was Lord Leobert's confidant when we were but lowly pages. His father served as knight commander and had little time for Leobert. I should have seen what he was planning. Maybe I could have turned him from it. I failed us all. A traveler buried me here, but left my head on the gravestone, a warning to all who journeyed on this road. My presence ensured that no one disturbed the keep or unleashed the horrors within. Before Leobert tarnished the name of Death's Valor, the altar stood as a test of Squire's worthiness. Kneeling at the altars and praying to the ideals we held dear, Disengage the locks holding the chests next to the altar shut. Items sacred to us. The burial shroud of Lucette Suriel. A black candle. A sack of grave dirt. Dried petals. I desecrated the chests, but there wasn't much time. Leobert had to be stopped. The chests were the only option. That may be the only light in this dark situation. The power of the altars only reveals itself to those who are worthy. Lord Leobert, in his arrogance, shunned our order, our very creed. He's no more worthy than an ant. Uh-huh. I prefer to be carried. It's less disrespectful, but I suspect you'll need your hands free for the trials ahead. Honor demands that I accompany you on this quest. More importantly... My presence will be necessary inside Death's Valor Keep. The altars inside served as the final test. Mulla oli tänne taas toinen tehtävä. Mihin me tarvittiinkaan näitä taas? Hmm? Hmm? Steadfast medley. A 
might could not forget that it is their duty to serve others. Leobert and I fell asleep praying in front of that statue. Night, lost to the forgotten past, let us live in a manner that befits your long gone memory. The dagger Leobert used to flay his body. His harebrain sacrifice brought an end to our glorious order. Yeah, see no party. Takaisin samaa reittiä toi ja sitten voi mennä alakertaa.
Tämä näyttää tällaiselta tämä paikka. Vähän mielenki mielenkiintoisempi kuin tavallinen niinku... Yleensä nämä on vähän ehkä mielikuvituksettomia. Tämä, 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 tämä ei ole myöskään ihan niinku... Tasa, tasainen. Stendar see you safely to your rest. Iso pelo vaan hoit hoiteli sen sitten. Tää muuten tekee aika hyvää jälkeä toi iso peltolla. Valokeihäällä. Aha. Se on sitten pomotappelu. Pää mukaan vaan. Toinen, toinen pelaaja tuli ikään saapuun. Tuot 630. Maksimi veteraanitasot kaverilla. Stop it hard. What? The hard Leobert ripped from his chest in the shadow of fear. I doubt he cared about the impact this had on the rest of us. Uh-huh. Okay. Todella, todella pimeitä. Tai kuutta. Retreat every item. Had I hands, I would clasp yours in friendship. And leave this cursed keep to the dead. Okei. Okay. Me tultiin täältä näin ja... Iso per pistää kyllä aika hyvin noita lyttyy. Ja tankki ja depsi. Konfiguraation siitä saa ilmeisesti aika kivasti. No, ehkä tää on alun perinkin ollut tää ritarikunta lievästi morbidi. Tai jotain sinne päin. Now, 
I'd like to be laid to rest atop that tombstone, if you don't mind putting me there. No one will look in this graveyard for the items thought to be lost within the keep. And I will watch over them. Your task is done. You have my thanks in all things. Here. I promised you the treasures forgotten in the graveyard. Hung ancestral Urk. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure how long my cursed existence will continue, but I feel at rest. My trials are over. I'll keep my vigil here and look to welcome death with open arms whenever I'm blessed with it. The magic of the ritual will not let Leobert and his lackeys leave the keep's walls. With the ritual items, their strength could grow. But since you took the tools from inside the keep, their cursed forms are trapped forever. I am the only one who exited the keep. I believe the sight of my bones falling apart in the air frightened them. They'd never risk losing their mobility. I'll do my duty and watch over these items. I have a knack for long vigils now. Hmm. I hope so. I'd like to not rush into it. Not while the others of my order pose a threat inside the keep. But one day, yes. When my time comes, I will smile. And that will be all. Huh. There is a pleasing breeze in the air. A new peace calming the keep. Okay. 